Slicing through the waves off Devon's south coast, the Next Step racing team are putting a new generation of artificial intelligence through its paces. Conditions out at sea are constantly changing. Wind, waves, currents and lots more. Remember, we don't have trip line at the moment. There's so much uncertainty that the AI we've been using up to now just can't cope. Traditional AI doesn't always have all the evidence it needs to make a proper decision, but it can still spit out an overly confident answer, sometimes even a hallucination. In a safety-critical situation, that could be disastrous. As you can see, the race involved a lot of different changes in direction. These yellow arrows are current. The new AI can crunch through data just as normal to plot what it thinks is the fastest route. But crucially, it scores how confident it is, so Joss knows whether he can trust it or go his own way. So that may be uncertainty over the specific weather report or the boat is going to be able to achieve a specific speed or course given the wind conditions and sea state. Um, and that's really important because it can start to uh, give you an idea of whether you want to go for a you know, more radical or less radical strategy within racing. The company Digilab created what it calls the Uncertainty Engine, an artificial intelligence you can trust. It's already being used to design a new generation of small nuclear reactors that could be built closer to where people live and safety is critical. As we used to adopt it in situations which are going to be transformative in terms of energy, in terms of maritime safety, in terms of healthcare, these are the parts where uncertainty really matters. And I see no real future of AI unless we answer the nub of this problem is can we trust it? Because human lives could be at stake. Yeah, human lives are at stake um, and people have to take responsibility for what the algorithms will do. What Joss and Charlie are testing on their racing yacht could soon be part of our lives too. Sweet. Yeah, that's filled there. Yeah. Helping with decisions in a sea of uncertainty. Thomas Moore, Sky News on the South Devon coast.